In the previous video about open conditioning, we looked at manipulating the environment. And if you haven't looked at that video, I recommend you quickly go and have a quick look at that one before we tackle shaping behavior. The reality is that manipulating the environment and shaping behavior are coupled together. You'll remember that manipulating the environment is setting up practice drills in order to promote the desired response. So shaping behavior then focuses on the individual, on the learner, and what they are doing in order to try and carry out or make that desired response. So if we look down in the video here, we're putting the shuttlecock to the back of the court and we're given the opportunity for the performer, the learner there, to play this particular shot, which is the overhead clear. And you can see that their behavior is shaped, is slightly modified every time in order to carry out that particular movement. So in terms of what we need to know, shaping behavior then is the movement, the behavior is the movement and it's modified or shaped in order to carry out the correct movement. And a good piece of terminology to use is think about it as the desired outcome. What is it that we want the learner or the performer to do? In this case, it's that overhead clear. So that's the desired outcome. And how can we set up an environment for them to shape behavior to eventually arrive at the, that required desired outcome. And you can see here, I've talked about the drop shot, I've talked about a smash, we're, talk, we're looking at the overhead clear here in the video. And this again is something which couples with the rest of the elements, the key terminology in operant conditioning.